Program 24. This is a UVI library. It's a multi-instrument. You can create an entire arrangement with this, but you can also use the individual instruments. It is inspired by two very rare instruments, the Sultan Programmer 24 and SM100. And this will bring you the vibe, the music of the 80s, synthwave, electronic disco, and maybe beyond that. You can, of course, use this for anything. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use this, what's in Program 24, and then we'll do a lot of sound demos. Let's get started. Program 24 can run in the free UVI workstation or in Falcon, and I'm using the workstation now. But of course, if you know the workstation or Falcon, you know that you can take this instrument even further with the built-in effects, arpeggiators, modulators, and in Falcon, you can do pretty much anything. So this is the main view, and when you get to this main view, you'll see the rhythm section here. You'll see the, the kick, snare, and all the drum parts. But on the top here, we have the different instruments. We have drums, bass, organ, or strings, company one, two, and three. And for each of them, we have a big button here to get even further into the sound design and select the different presets for that instrument. We have mute and solo buttons for each of them, and we can go back to the main view. So this is the home page. Next, on the bottom here, we have hold to just hold a chord or a, a, a note, and we have the registers for the organ, and we can select strings, cello, and the violin. So let's play something, and I'll show you how this works. <laughs> Right, and if we hold, we'll get this. Right, and so I can actually use this in live performance. I can just click the hold and let this instrument play and give me that backing track that I need. So now let's get into the details and have a, a deeper look into each of these instruments. So let's start with the drums. And here we have the different drum parts. We have the kick, the snare, and all the rest. And for each of them, we have mute, solo, level, panning, pitch, decay, filtering. And we have two different reverbs and two different delays. And we can send each of these instruments or each of these parts to, to those uh, send effects. And on the right here, we have presets. So you can use the, the global preset. For example, I'm using a grain, which will give you everything, but then you can go and tweak the drums or any of the other instruments. So for example, I can select a different preset just for the drums. So we'll take this one. And then I have kit selection, and I can just get any of these kits. And we have rhythm section here. And I can just get this one and see how many options we have. So now let's solo the drums. And let's get another kit. Let's get the lean drums. And we can get some other um, patterns. Cool, and then we have some other controls like drive, we can drive it. We have an EQ, and again, we have the, the reverb sense and the delay sense. Cool, so this is uh, how the drum works, and you can actually use this w without, I mean, without using all the rest. I mean, if you're just looking for some drum patterns, this is great. And what's nice about this, that you can actually drag and drop the MIDI pattern. Just click this and drag it to your host, whatever is that, Cubase, Logic, FL Studio, Pro Tools, whatever. So uh, this is pretty cool. 
Next, let's move to the base. So if we'll click this big button here for the base, you'll see that we have, again, the preset. So whatever preset, the global preset you, you get, you can change that, you can tweak that and, and select some other uh, presets. And this is the global preset for the base. It will give you um, a lot of other options. So I can flick this through the uh, right and left arrows and you'll see that everything changes. And we also have an arpeggiators, of course, here. So let, let's try that. Let's solo the bass and select some other. But we can also change the, the source. So see how many options we have. We can just take this bass guitar. And we have some other controls, filters, and we have envelopes, ADSR envelope here and AR envelope here. And we can also use this uh, amp here to get some more cool sounds. And we have drive. We have phaser, we can turn it on. EQ, and again, reverbs and delays. Right, and on the bottom here we have the arpeggiator. And again, no matter what you select on the top here, w whatever preset you selected, you can always change the pattern here. And we have so many to choose from. So actually you can use this entire uh, library for anything. If you're just looking for a bass or drum patterns, something to to give you some inspiration, this is really great. I mean, you don't have to use this instrument just for 80s disco or synth wave. And of course, we can change the entire um, pattern here. We can create our own and there's a lot of things that you can do. We have gate here, gating, and we have the um, the whole octave thing, whatever. I mean, this is a very useful arpeggiator. And we have steps, we have speed, we have gate. So it's pretty cool. And of course you can use this as an instrument. You don't have to use the arpeggiator if you just want to play. Right, and you can use this uh, as an individual instrument. You just load whatever sound you want and just play that. So that's the bass. And let's jump over to the organ or strings. And again, you have a global string um, preset here. Let's solo this one. Cool. And I can add cello and I can create a pad. This is the filter and we have the volume envelope. And again, we have drive, we have phaser, we have EQ, and we have the, the reverb uh, sands and the delay sands. Same goes for the organ. So pretty cool. Let's move on and we'll see the comp now. Company one, so I'm going to solo this. And again, we have different sounds. I can load whatever I want. Let's let's hear how that sounds. And it, it is arpeggiated, so I'm gonna stop the arpeggiator. Pretty cool. So that's, uh, again, that's the idea here. And you can just select different types of uh, 
of instruments here. Let's try something else. Wonderful. So again, preset and sound. So you can select whatever preset. That will be the global preset for that instrument. And then you can change the sound to whatever you want. And the same goes for the Accompany 2. Again, let's solo this one. And it's pretty much the same idea again. You can just create three different sounds, three different layers of Accompany for your uh, track. So it's, uh, it is very useful. Now, let me show you something else. You can use this as individual instruments. Let's go to the menu here and you'll see that we have all kinds of presets, Roots, Italo Disco, Synthwave, Modern Disco, and so on. But we also have single instruments. So I can have the bass, I mean the drums, the bass, strings, and uh, we have uh, company mono and poly. So I can just select the bass. And th this is just the bass. So you, again, you can use this library as just like a, a synth or like a, a sampler. And we can select any of the sounds here. And I can use the arpeggiator. And we can select different patterns. And we can select different presets. And same goes for the other uh, instruments we have. For example, the drums. So that's it. That's Program 24 by UVI. I really love it. Really inspirational and a lot of fun. And so if you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed because I'm uploading stuff all the time. And comment below this video if you have any question or you want to get in touch with me. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook. I'll put the links in the description of this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye.
Thank you.